You asked, what are home batteries made of? A solar home storage battery is very similar to a car battery in that the charge controller or battery management system chooses a voltage that is compatible with the battery's voltage. The battery management system also regulates the solar panel array's voltage output to supply the right amount of electricity to the battery. This electric current is subjected to energy conversion during the charging process in which electrical energy is transformed into chemical energy. During discharging, chemical energy is converted back to electrical energy. But of course, certain materials are much more difficult to be used during this charging process. And today, there are four main types of solar home storage batteries available. These are lithium iron, lead acid, nickel based batteries and flow batteries. Lithium iron batteries are one of the most common battery types and were originally discovered in 1912. Due to their higher energy density, they have been able to overtake lead acid batteries as the most popular battery choice. They also display a longer lifespan with an average warranty life of 10 years. In saying this, they are also the most expensive solar battery option. They are made up of a number of different raw materials, including but not limited to lithium, graphite, cobalt, and manganese. The actual battery of a lithium ion battery consists of three main components, these being the anode and cathode, a separator between two electrodes and an electrolyte. Lithium ion batteries are considered the newer, more advanced battery technology, mainly due to the increase in EV interest. As electric vehicle producers popularize this battery technology, many solar home storage battery manufacturers also began to use this technology in products such as Tesla's Powerwall and LG's Rezu batteries. Lithium ion battery technology is constantly evolving as the electric car industry continues to push large amounts of research funds towards their ongoing development. Lead acid batteries. Lead acid batteries are the original technology of the solar world and were discovered in the early 1800s. They were considered ugly and bulky, but are quite dependable and trustworthy. The main materials of these batteries are metallic lead, lead dioxide, lead sulfate, and sulfuric acid. Similar to the lithium ion battery, this battery also consists of two electrodes. However, they are submerged in an electrolyte of sulfuric acid. Also known as deep cycle batteries, these pieces of technology are today primarily used for off-grid solar storage, although their popularity is slowly decreasing as newer, more evolved technologies such as the aforementioned lithium ion battery emerges. Nickel-based batteries. Nickel-based batteries have been around since the late 1800s. However, they have not been as popular in comparison to lead acid battery technology. The main material for these batteries is nickel cadmium, which is their biggest downfall as this material is considered to be quite toxic. Although the materials used are quite toxic, they are fully sealed, making them pretty safe. The battery itself has been used for solar storage in residential, commercial, and off-grid solar systems due to its ability to operate at extreme temperatures. This is a benefit very relevant for Australia in particular. Flow batteries. Flow batteries are a relatively new piece of technology to the solar storage market. The name Flow comes from the technology having a water-based electrolyte liquid. They are quite large in size, which has led them to have a higher price. However, their technology has been evolving recently and an Australian company has produced a promising residential solar battery known as the Z-Cell. These batteries have the ability to have all the energy used, meaning that they can be discharged next to empty without damaging the actual technology, something that the other battery technologies struggle with. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.